Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Darlings, I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane, and I am here at Anthony's on the lake, and I'm celebrating my wedding anniversary, and I am here with the owner himself, Anthony Pellegrino. We are here at this gorgeous windows on the lake. This place is so gorgeous, and it is just an amazing restaurant, amazing catering hall. Anthony, thank you for hosting this beautiful dinner for my husband and I, so oh, that we're sure. celebrating yeah. our wedding anniversary. You, tell, awesome. tell my audience, darling, how long you've owned Windows on the Lake? Twenty-nine years. Twenty-nine years. Wow. Yeah, it's great. Now, what made you? I, from what I understand, Ellen told me that all the recipes are your recipes. Everything is, you've written it, you've done it. Tell my audience what inspired you to become a restaurant owner and to buy this fabulous place. Yeah. Well, I can't take all the credit. I mean, we also have um, my parents were very well uh, business people. My mother was a great chef and baker. My grandfather was a great chef and baker. So it's a trickle-down effect. And then, uh, obviously, uh, Apple Don't Fall Too Far From The Tree. I was my mother's helper when I was very young, like 10 years old. And I was, uh, and worked alongside of her. And, uh, and we she built taught you the trade. She taught you the craft of the cooking and the baking. The cooking of all the different types of foods and stuff, the Italian. And in that, in that whole thing of the Italian part, we've also learned because uh, we were entrepreneurs, my parents were, with... Um, making uh, German foods and all different types of international foods because we were in a different type of a neighborhood. We, they moved from Brooklyn and they came to Babylon, Long Island first. Wow. And then from over there, then everybody, um, you know, we went from a butcher shop to a pizza parlor to putting the German deli out of business next door, that us taking it over, then after us, us taking that over, then we took over the block. My, my father was very, very entrepreneurial that way. What part of Brooklyn? Uh, from uh, Williamsburg. Oh, that's what, that's where my fa my family is from, Williamsburg area also. Rose Avenue, Meserol Street, yes, over there and stuff. Yes, yeah. yes. So then, um, so when they, uh, so I worked very young. So I only know about working really. So, um, but again, I also dabbled in music and stuff as well. I went to music college, and I thought I was going to be able to break away from the food business, but it's just something that's in you. It's in your DNA, darling. It's in your DNA. Now, how did you find this place, Windows on the Lake? Well, we had a restaurant around the corner, which was called, hence, Anthony's. <laughs> Originally, it was called, we started as a little hero shop that turned into Anthony's Restaurant. Then Anthony's Restaurant branched into a lot of catering all over Long Island. We did many weddings every year, maybe about 50 to 60 for an all-premise caterer. That was a lot. Then we bought a rental company, we owned tents, then we owned a bakery, and we had the off-premise catering. Then we started doing big, huge parties and picnics for thousands of people. And then we started working for Computer Associates, Gold Parker Industries, American Airlines, you name the companies, uh, we did it all. And so we became our name for our food. And then um, the owner that was of this building was getting annoyed because the people that came here to have his parties and his food here they said well you know we'd love to have the party here but we like the guys anthony's food around the corner can we get him to do the party here 
Wow. So then after a little while, the guy didn't take too much of rocket science for him. He says, you know, maybe I should sell this to him because he wanted an exit strategy. So he came to us and kept on pounding us for five or six years before we bought the place because we were doing many weddings yeah. and we didn't want to have a location to take care of maintenance or this, that, whatever. What made you decide this, this is the deal, I'm going to buy this place? Well, what made you decide? I mean, was there a reason? Because it's so, it is beautiful here. Well, as we were getting older in life, we were realizing that um, when you're done with catering or your business closes, you actually stop doing business and there's no residual. So the residual in this case is the real estate. I so see. A property and you have a place that we're always renting locations instead of giving the money to somebody else's location, might as well be to our own location. So. This building is quite stunning. I mean, you have the view of the lake, uh, Ronkonkoma Lake, and was this originally a house, somebody's home? No, no, no. This was called the Bush Estate, and they actually rented out like almost like a bed and breakfast kind of thing. Okay. Then from a bed and breakfast, you know, we kept on branching out to something else and something else over the different owners. This uh, originally was called the Suffolk House a long time ago. Very entertainers from all over came out because this was like a resort on the lake uh, where everybody came out from Brooklyn and the city and all to to actually swim in this lake and they have this little uh, uh, little uh, bungalows around the lake that people rented and they used to go swim in the lake and slides going in there Rainer Park and all the historical if you go on the historical Lake Ronkonkoma online they'll be able to see all the different things that, and our, actually we're in there all over because we have two locations we have the windows on the lake yes the I, I want the beach the beach club is this which I went to your Halloween party which yeah. was amazing yeah. now the food here is fabulous today you're having a special event uh, you're having a dance uh, not dancing music outside you have a band tell my audience who's appearing here we have a, a, a band called street fighter which they're a rolling stones tribute band that does like a mick jagger kind of thing and we also have bobby palms which is basically now he's uh, he's like the warm-up for the band so it's, a, it's like a dinner show atmosphere and it's outside so we do that a lot of, during the week we do it inside and then, um, you know, as long as the weather works with us, we do it outside as well. So, uh, and we have a larger group that comes outside. And we have this crazy, like, the, the chef goes crazy with the foods, doing different types of things that we don't normally have as a fair. And we make uh, the odd stuff with the international types of foods outside. So yeah, people go crazy. We have a buffet now outside. Tell, station, yeah. tell my audience what's in the buffet. If you oh, say so. Tonight, there's basically, we have, um, uh, I think we have a beef brisket tonight. We have a Hawaiian chicken. We have a Tunisian rice. We have, um, um, we have sausage and peppers. We have a different type of fare of different stuff. And then we also, oh, macaroni and cheese with all kinds of toppings That's and stuff. That's a big That's favorite. Good. Everyone loves yeah. macaroni and cheese. Now, my, my husband, I just want to ask you, what is, there must be a dish here for dinner, a special dish that you uh, that you like, that you, it's your recipe that you recommend to all your patrons that come here. Is there one specific dish that you love the best that we should all order here at Anthony's on the Lake? There's actually three. There's like a steak up poivre, which is a steak Anthony's. Um, and then there's also a penny alla vodka <laughs> with chicken. And then there is a, we have a beef brisket. Uh, tonight the beef brisket is not on because we have it on the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my audience about the salmon. That's funny. Tell my audience about the salmon. That looks, I was thinking of getting the pan-seared salmon DNAs. Tell us about that. The What's Dijonese, that? Yeah. The Dijonese. Yeah, what is that like? It's a, it's a mustard sauce with the peppercorns. And so, it's absolutely crazy. It's off the hook. People go. Wow. Yeah. wow. And also, uh, my husband saw something else that he liked. Oh, I love the appetizer. The meatball. Well, I'm going to Mama's get meatballs. Mama's meatballs. Tell my audience the recipe about that meatball. Is that what your mother explained yeah, to you? It was designed from, from uh, you know, my grandfather. And, you know, we have this little book. It's about this big. And it has all the recipes in it from what they did in the heyday. And we really didn't change them too much, except for maybe a little pepper. Because we want them to drink a little more. Are they nice and big? Are they, are they nice and big and round? That's big. Yeah, but the regatta on top of it. So we put the regatta. 
Eight. Now, where is your family from? What part of Italy are they from? Uh, well, my mother's from Calabria, and my father's from Sicily. So I'm Palermo. Sicilian. Palermo. That's where I'm from. Palermo. Yep. The Corsicans took ah, over over there. We're Cushines. We're Cushines. We're Paisans and Cushines. So the place looks beautiful. You look terrific, Anthony. And you too. Much success. Much success with the catering hall. Anthony's on the lake. Much success with this wonderful restaurant. What's good for dessert here? Uh, we have a couple of things. We have a tiramisu that will knock your socks off. It's amazing. Really beautiful tiramisu. It's fresh mascarpone cheese and everything made. Is that your favorite? Yes. That's a very popular thing. So that's, that's your favorite. What is your favorite Italian dish out of everything you've ever eaten? You must have one dish that you love the most. Um, I guess, uh, well, there's a lot of things that are named you know, for, for different reasons, but I, I, I think my smothered chicken dish is amazing. Smothered, was, smothered chicken, yummy. Smothered in broccoli and, and, and melted uh, fresh mozzarella uh, in a uh, light uh, uh, butter and lemon white wine sauce. It's amazing. That does sound amazing. Well, Anthony, let's toast to my fabulous anniversary party here happy at the anniversary thank you happy, happy anniversary <laughs> thank you darling thank, thank, you, thank you darling and thank thanks you. for hosting thank this you. special dinner and give me a kiss there you go mm -hmm. and this side yep. mm -hmm. french french and we will be back in a moment darlings with more interviews right here at cognac's corner keep watching pink champagne kisses <laughs>
I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Walla Lane, and we are here at Anthony's on the Lake, and we are having a fabulous time celebrating my wedding anniversary. As you can see, I'm dressed like a bride, and I have the fabulous Ms. Ellen Pellegrino, the wife of Anthony Pellegrino, and she's hosting a fabulous little soiree here at the this wonderful restaurant and catering hall. Ellen, thanks for coming on Cognac's Corner TV show. We're having a fabulous time. I am so glad, and it is so amazing to see you, and thank you for spending your anniversary with us. I feel so blessed. Well, you know, we always go out to dinner, and I said, you know what, let's go someplace really special, and this is truly a beautiful, magnificent place, and I loved taking pictures right by the gazebo. Tell my audience about this beautiful catering hall. Well, we've been here for about a um, little over 30 years. And uh, like now, after the um, COVID, we started something new, which is calling, called Live and Dine. So today we have entertainment, live band performing. The food is spectacular. Wait till you have a chance to eat. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm dying to eat the food. I'm, and of course, I'm drinking wonderful pink champagne. Pink champagne. <laughs> Without a doubt. My favorite, of yes. course. Now, you also have another place. Um, tell my audience about that place as well. Yeah, we have the Beach Club Estate on the opposite side of the lake. That we've had about 19 years, and that looks a little bit like a hidden getaway. Both places have palm trees, and it's beautiful whether you're inside or out. We've it's been to very resort-like feeling oh, about it. Like, like you're on the islands. It's very, very pretty. That one is very warm and romantic. This one, when you go into the other rooms, you have the crystal it's chandelier. Very elegant. Yes, it has a different flair. It has a very, it's, I feel like I'm at Versailles with all those beautiful French chandeliers deliers hanging it's just magnificent now when I was at the beach estates that was at your Halloween soiree That's right. That's right. and that I love that place but I noticed that you also have something in the background yes. that you do weddings and brides. Tell my audience a little bit about that, because you're an expert when it comes to looking fabulous and gorgeous and beautiful on your wedding day. Oh, so do you, sweetheart. I, I have a spa and salon over there, so I have age and new beginnings. So I do holistic, uh, we do the hair, we do the makeup. So we do the pre-party before the party. And uh, yeah, I mean, these are the memories and the moments that you keep with you, with you forever. So brides come in yes. and you do their hair and the bridesmaids as well, mm -hmm. and you get them together to look perfect on that special day. Absolutely, absolutely. So w when you come to us for a wedding or a special event, we're full service. So we, we have photography, video, the entertainment, the food, the the party planning, the hair, the makeup. So all you got to do is show up that day and look fabulous. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. But that's more so in the other place than here. Am I right about that? W whether you're getting married here or getting married there, we still do the hair and makeup as well. Oh, you do the makeup here as well too? No, well, we do. Well, we can do it anywhere, but but we have the salon there. Then the limo brings them over here. Oh, fabulous. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow, that's yeah. great. That's great. But food is what we've been known for. So we've been doing off-premise events as well as on-premise events for three plus decades. And uh, you, you spoke to Anthony, and, and food is something that he does orgasmically. You'll see when you have a seat for yourself. No, he so was. Well, my husband is. He ordered the uh, Mama Mia meatballs. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's what he ordered. Okay. And I'm having the Caesar salad, and your husband's going to put bacon in it. Okay. I can't wait to eat that. Uh, we got to give you a little something else extra special. you got to try a little bit of the seafood, too, because it's... Well, go I'm going to have the salmon okay, also. Okay, now, but I want to know, what is your favorite dish here? What do you recommend? There's, there's nothing I don't love. There's absolutely... There nothing. must be one thing that you really love. Oh, my God. Um... Sort of the pesh, everything. Everything is wonderful. Every everything is great. It, um, from um, <laughs> the meatballs to the <laughs> pasta 
to the lobster. <laughs> Penelope Vodka. That's what he said, Penelope Vodka. People were very known for. Yeah. Wow, wow. What, now tell my audience, what was the most spectacular wedding you ever had here? You must have had one wedding that really sticks out in your mind. Oh, you, you know what? Your wedding is your imagination. You know, it, it's very unique to each individual. We have done things where people have um, dressed up from Halloween type of clothes to um, the Civil War. The Civil War. Yeah, they, well, <laughs> I dressed like Scarlett O'Hara when you I got would. married. Absolutely. I looked like, and he looked like Red Butler. Oh, so nice. that was that's funny. Hot. That's really hot. And I could see a that. Beautiful, we had a beautiful limo, antique car come and pick us up. So that was pretty special. Very charming. Yeah, I mean, we have every, everything from horse and buggy to... Um, Did you ever have like a 1920s Gatsby oh, absolutely. wedding? Absolutely, yeah. So, I mean, we, we do all different types of nationalities. I noticed before, when we came here, you know, prior, we were taking pictures. I noticed there was a wedding party, and the girl, the bride, looked like a sailor. She had the sailor hat, and her husband was a sailor, and she had the white wedding gown. So, this, I mean, like it's you said. It's your imagination. It's ever your imagination. Absolutely. If you get married again, what would you do? Wow. It would definitely have to be over the top. <laughs> Like me. Absolutely. That's baby. why we're friends. That's right. <laughs> we're both fabulous. <laughs> both over the top, and we love we love glamour. We do. We do. We Being do. glamorous is the most important thing. It's a magical thing to be a woman. You know, we, we can change our looks, change everything in a moment. But which you don't great. want to change your look. You love the way you look. I love the way I, you look. I, I adore you too, sweetheart. But I'm just saying, short hair, long hair, makeup. You could always do a little different. Always make you know, clothing. It's it's playtime. Yeah. It's dress up time. That's right. It's That's dress right. up time. Now, I want to know what's your favorite dessert here? Mm. Our, uh, oh, everything, everything we make from scratch here. Our cannoli is a phenomenal. Um, the lava cakes, the cheesecakes. Uh, you, you know what? Everything is amazing. Really, truly is. Everything's made from scratch. This place is truly amazing. This place is a magical treat for me. Now, I want to oh, talk. Here comes some food now. Yes. Yeah. And I wa wow. Look, look at the that. meatballs. Look at everything. Wow. <laughs> but I, look I at the want. the size of those balls. <laughs> oh, my God. They look amazing. So, um, Ellen, tell my boys, you're busy doing something right now. You, you interrupted your busy schedule because you were doing something on Zoom. Tell my audience a little bit about that. Um, well, I, I'm a psychic and I do quantum healing work. And Quantum healing, what is that? You know, um, from the time we're born until this moment in time, we have our different perceptions. And when we're younger, um, the way we perceive things affects how we feel. So the way we react to things, what we hold on to, pains, different things that are going on. And quantum healing is, is like an energetic DNA shift. You're able to help somebody go back in time, see things from a different perception, heal uh, everything from cancer to, um, it's infinite, it's infinite. And, and realizing that, um, Life is a choice, you know, you can hold on to things or you can have infinite realities. And, and that's what you do, you know, you, you want to connect to the stars and be the star that you are, you, you do it, you know, and, and in life it, it's just... I don't let anything hold me back. Nothing holds you back, absolutely nothing. So my husband's come through, God knows what. Oh. Our prayers have been answered. Your husband Absolutely. looks amazing. Yes, and, and so quantum healing work is just, God bless you were where you were, and, and now to be in a place where you feel alive and, and life is great again, you know? So uh, nobody's stuck anywhere, you know? W whether it's cancer, pain, you don't have to hold on to it. You can heal it. So I do that with the quantum healing. I do um, energetic healings. I... And, and readings, but basically everything comes back to um, raising somebody's vibration, you know, helping them connect to their um, understanding of source, you know. So it, it's... it's so we're all part of the universe, we right? We are. We are. Absolutely. And then some people say that they're... Uh, 
that none of us really originated from here. So <laughs> I've heard that. I want. I the aliens brought us here. Who knows? No, that we all came from different planets, and we all just ended up here, kind of like a Star Wars. You ever see the the bar in Star Wars? <laughs> yes, I have. I have. <laughs> and it, it, it's just life is fun. And, and that life is meant to be enjoyed. I tell my husband that. I just stop taking everything so serious. <laughs> it's uh, too much seriousness. I, I remember the time you came over my house and we were filming a movie. Yes. Everything is fun. So we've uh, executive produced different movies, some that are on Amazon. This is what we do and this is what we love. And this is what we've been for, you know, three plus decades. But uh, the quantum healing I'm also doing about 30 years. And in the movie now, it's probably about six years. But it's, it's just fun, you know, and... Just have fun. That's what life should be. Exactly, exactly. And enjoying the best of the best. And we are going to dine on this food tonight. We're going to yes. enjoy everything. I want you to tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information? What is the website? Well, it depends on what you're looking to find out. Are you looking to find out about windows on the lake? For, yes. For for weddings, you can go to, you know, windowsonthelake.com <laughs> or Beach Club Estates or Events Unlimited because we bring events to you and we go to different locations. Or if you're into going through a quantum healing and want to get over a lull that you might be in or a depression, you give me a call and... Uh, it's age of new beginnings, you know, and uh, or, you, or you call me direct. But whatever we can do to raise your vibration, to have fun, and to enjoy life, here's to you and the magic Salute. you are. Much Salute. love. Give me a kiss, darling. Mwah. Mwah. And we'll be back with more celebrity interviews right here at Cognac's Corner. Keep watching. Pig Champagne Kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the Cognac Show. And the Cognac dressed to impress one of a kind girl I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne wearing fur dazzling diamond jewelry a girl can't complain I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I eat cognac, ooh, ooh, I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.